What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm happy to announce the Psychedelic Master Pack, my new effects pack for Adobe After Effects. This is a large pack, over 40 different drag and drop presets. I wanted to make this versatile, so there's four different types of presets. You have your trippy looks on the foreground, background animations that twist, twirl, animate out, shoot out, a lot of really cool stuff that you see in a lot of modern music videos now. You have your liquid distortion effects, which are by far my favorite, or you can only do with things like Red Giant plugins or third-party extensions. And then we also have some useful yet simple clone transitions, flicker in stuff, some things that you can use to add some energy to your edits. The pack comes with a tutorial, so I won't waste any time showing you installation. Presets are a tool, they save you time, they can give you cool looks, but they can give you even cooler looks if you have some After Effects knowledge behind that. So let me show you some cool things you can do with these presets when you mix together and tweak a few things. Let me show you some little tricks of the trade here. So we're gonna pop into this composition and I'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything. So hold down shift, delete everything except for this. I already went ahead and rotoscoped this layer. So if I was to turn this on, you can see we have the background removed. And what I can do with that is I can select it, click Control D to duplicate. And then I can rename this to bottom. I can rename this to middle. And then I'll click Control D and duplicate again. And I'll rename this to top. If you guys don't know how to rotoscope, just look up Max Novak rotoscoping on YouTube. Extremely easy, especially with the new update. Now on the bottom layer here, we can go ahead and hide the roto brush. And now we have that sandwich setup that I show you in the tutorial for the pack that's so useful when you're using this. Let's go ahead and open up our effect presets. It'll show you how to install these. Now I wanna show you some cool stuff. So let's just take one of these colorful backgrounds. You can see the ones that are meant for the background denoted with BG. So let's take this enter the void background effect and place it on our middle layer. Now, if you scroll through here, you see we have a cool little animation kind of swiveling out. But one of the things I want you guys to do is change the blending modes. Whenever you change around the blending mode here, if you click toggle switches and modes, you can get some really cool blends of your background with all this crazy color. You've got your um, top effects here are the ones that say top that you can just place onto your foreground layer here or if you want you can even just place it on the background layer just to give you some cool color washing throughout as you can see here some really crazy backgrounds with some unique color going on here one's called demonic possession change around that blending mode you get some crazy kind of shifts of light i really like that one a lot so that's just a quick little rundown of what you can expect in this pack now i want to show you my favorite part about this and that is these liquid distortion effects right here so you have liquid bass hits distortion doom distortion zoom one and two so a cool thing you can do let's go in here and drag in enter the void onto our middle again and we'll go ahead and change the blending mode just to kind of have some crazy trippy color going on in the back and then what we can do is we can apply the distortion zoom onto our background with the color that we've already applied and we can do that by pre-composing the bottom and the middle clip here so we'll select both, we'll right click and we'll pre-compose and we'll just name this back. And then we can go in and drag in our liquid bass hits or our liquid distortion zoom. And it's going to affect our background with the added in um, craziness that we already put here. So with these liquid distortion zooms, you see when I applied it first, nothing happens. The magic really comes in when you use these alpha maps that come with the pack here. And you have all of these different preset patterns that can change the look of your distortion. So if you want to go with something like bass hits, you just drag that in there, transform and fit it to comp first and then hide it. It's a preset caustics effect. You go to your water surface and just change to your pre-rendered alpha. And just like that, you instantly have this super cool liquid distortion mixed in with backgrounds, whatever you guys want to put in there. It's essentially the chromatic displacement that you can get from Red Giant, but that plugin costs like $100. This is $37 and you get 39 other crazy presets built just like it. Not only do you have base hits, remember I said you can change using the alpha maps. Say you want a star or an explosion or a tunnel, you can just drag those alpha maps in there. Let's go transform and fit that to comp and then just change out the caustics layer underwater surface. And now you have this crazy sort of star going through and creating all these different designs and patterns. And it's interchangeable because you can go in here to our pre-comp and say you don't want um, 
all this colorful stuff going on in the background. We can go ahead and just delete all the effects off of here. And let's go with a different background. Let's go with something like, here's Hypnotize, which looks really cool whenever we add in the bass hits, liquid distortion, because you're getting that twirling, but you're getting that sort of bending glass, water droplet look behind. Check that out. Again, like I said, my favorite type of distortion Forever since I've got my hands on After Effects, since I used some of those paid presets in the past and they always had that crazy distortion that you couldn't do, we cracked the code for that and now you can get something like that in this preset pack with the different types of designs and styles and you can mix them together and create some really cool, unique stuff if you do have that knowledge. And of course, like I mentioned before, those easy utility presets, these are meant to be used for transitions so that you can transition your clones into different scenes. You've also got your swivel effects, and keep in mind here that not every project's gonna have the same resolution. So for example, um, if you apply the swivel effect and, for, and there's any little gap, just click P for position, and just move that down a tiny bit. Now you have that kind of Fredo bang, swiveling clone behind the back going on there, and so on and so forth. So again, I hope you guys do enjoy this pack if you do decide to pick it up. Again, I wanted to make it something where you don't just drag and drop and that's it. I wanted to make it something where you can create cool things, you could customize, and you have room for creativity because it's one of the things that I think presets lack a lot of. You see someone apply presets and then you see a million different videos with the exact same effect. If you can use presets and experiment with them, I think it makes it way better and I think it makes it so that your video can look completely different from someone else's even if they're using the same presets. If not and you just like how some of this looks, you want to learn a little bit about this, just look up some of my past videos. A lot of this is built on past knowledge I've dropped for free or watch my last tutorial where I talk about some twirling, some psychedelic colors, things like that. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for supporting and I'll see you guys in the next one.